Shalom, Yasharala, all praises and glory goes to our mighty power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rekha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the legmen feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, in sincerity and truth with this great gospel that is coming out of our Bible, that is coming out of our Bible, where the scriptures gives you what gives you what a vision of what the future of things to come future things to come. You ain't going to get this out of any other book on earth, right? Esau, right, his movies is based off of biblical scriptures, right? Everything you see that this man promotes to you about um, aliens, about future destructions, a collapsed society, man, you're getting that out of the Bible. That's where these visions is coming from. So he, this is his playbook to write these movies. And um, what these visions are coming clear, especially with the collapse of America. And um, everybody is talking about what the collapse of America. Everybody's talking about the invasion of America. Everybody's talking about how this place is um, falling apart, right? You got the, these devils. They said 15, th 15 things you should do when the enemy invades America. 15 things you should do when the enemy invades America. I'm going to tell you one thing you should do when the enemy invades America. Trust in the Lord. Call on Yahweh Hashem Shai. Put your faith in Yahweh Hashem Shai. That's the only thing we need to do. We don't need to do nothing else. When you go into the scriptures, what does the scriptures say? White boy telling you 15 things you need to do. You need to do, need to get. One of you was talking about grab, getting you a weapon, right? He was getting you prepared for food, canned foods. He was telling you prepare to uh, map out the city, the area you're in. He was saying to do all these things. Most Israelites ain't got enough money. First off, a lot of you Israelites, you about to be kicked out your homes. You about to, when you looking at the time of Jacob's trouble, you ain't going to be a prepper, right? You ain't going to be a prepper. You're going to be a motherfucking op oppressed person running for your lives. Some of you, you're going to run to Esau, eat them. You're going to run to the FEMA camp, so they're going to chip you up, right? You're going to trust in the system. You're going to trust in yourselves. But what we're going to do, we're going to trust in your house. I'll shine. I'll shine. Proverbs chapter 3 and 5. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Right? Your heart is your mind. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Yeah, we trust in the Lord. Fuck 15 things and 20 things and 30 things you need to get. We getting what we need to get right now is this truth. This knowledge and wisdom. Right? We're, right now we're in the secret place of the Most High. Right? It's a secret place. Why do you think the world can't see us, don't see us. The world don't hear us because this is a secret. This is only for the elect of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Proverbs chapter 3 and 5 again. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Yeah, we're not trusting in um, ourselves. We're not trusting in man, right? We're not going to um, talk about prep. Prep for what? You can't prep for what's coming because you don't know what you can't. What's coming ain't never came before. It's hard to prep for something that ain't never been been dealt with on earth before, right? The Lord's about to cause something on earth that people ain't never felt. And the spirit is about be America being invaded, right? These nations they can't stand America. They hate America, right? The Koreans, the Chinese, the Persians, the um, Russians, the Arabs, right? Shit, the fucking Hispanics. So-called Hispanics and Latinos, right? The Africans, right? The whole vibration is against who Esau, Edom. They hate to eat the Americans, right? They, they, they got a chant called, what do they be saying? They be saying D-T-A to, what, what are they talking about? A destruction to America. Who are these people? The people who hate America. What do we say? We say, call hello, you how about Shimmy Al-Shah? We trusting the Lord, man. We waiting for the Lord to do his thing. We know what the Lord going to do to America. The Lord going to make America an uninhabitable environment, right? The Lord going to make America a lake of fire, right? And he's going to use these heathen nations to do it, right? This is the book of Jeremiah 50 and 1. It reads, the word of the Lord. The word that the Lord, the word that Yahweh spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet it reads, declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not, say Babylon is taken. Babylon is confounded, right? America is um, under an invasion spirit, right? You got all these migrants coming here. They're not coming here for love. They're not coming here to build, man. They're coming here to destroy, 
right? They even, man, these is motherfucking soldiers from other countries, man. People been recruited to, what, splinter cells so they could, what, do bring destruction to this place, right? Because, man, they've been recruiting. They've been plotting against this destruction of America. If you think that these nations care about America, the Bible already lets you know. It says, declare you among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish not. Publish and conceal not. Salaki, say, because a lot of you prophets, man, you so-called prophets, you preachers, you people who claim you read not the Bible, you, you don't want to talk about the downfall of America. You want to give your people hope in America when there's really no hope in America, right? Because the Lord's about to do what in America? He's about to bring the plagues. The Bible speaks about the plagues that the Lord's going to bring upon this place, right? The famine, the, the pestilence, the lack of resources, um, the um, Egyptian against the Egyptian, right? The cities closed. You won't be able to tr go to certain places, roadblocks. Right, Babylon is taken, Baal is confounded, Mordak is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces right now. Nobody is following after their idols no more. Those American idols, nobody give a fuck about your Jesus Christ. Nobody care about your entertainers and musicians. Everybody's about themselves, right? That spirit of pride. It says men shall be lovers of their own selves. So they don't give a fuck about no idols. For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her, which shall make her land desolate. And no one shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart both man and beast. Man, we tell you, man, the Lord about to destroy America. The Lord is about to destroy America. Jeremiah 50 and 9, it says, For lo, I will raise up and cause to... It's lucky. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of nation, great nations. From the north country and they shall set themselves in array against her from thence she shall be taken their arrows shall be as a mighty expert man none shall return in vain and the chaldean shall be a spoiled all that shall spoil her shall be satisfied except the lord right you got to realize these people want to destroy america that's why this plan is set up Hey, man, look, the people who control America are against America. They don't give a fuck about this place. That's why they don't care about your roads. They don't care about your um, schools. They don't care about your health care system. They don't care about your education system, right? What, what system do they care about? That military complex system and that prison industrial complex system locking your ass up and sending you to war, right? It says your mother shall be kind of sore, con your mother which is um, Britain, right, England, your mother shall be sore confounded. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost of the nations shall be, the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness, a dry land and a desert because of the wrath of the Lord. It shall not be inhabited. It's talking about America when that destruction come, right? We're already seeing it being taken by what this invasion and this devil talking about what? 15 things you should do when the enemy invades America. And that devil ain't mentioned the Lord one time. He didn't mention the Heavenly Father trusting and believe some kind of spiritual power. And one time, all he talked about is um, carnal things, right? Fleshly things, manly things. He's talking about a group of men. Truck, yeah, get a group of people around you. Psalms 118 and 8, it reads, It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. Yeah, when y'all run out of food in them, um, in them groups of survivalists and preppers, wait, y'all gonna turn on each other. Y'all gonna start killing each other and eating each other, right? You do it over, it shows it in the movies, right? The movies is a prelude to what's to come, right? Isaiah 12 and 2, behold, the Most High is my salvation. I will trust in, Salaki, the Most, behold, Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord, Yahweh, is the strength of my, is my strength and my song. He is all, he also is become my salvation. Yeah, that's the only thing we're going to do and trust in. That's the only thing we're looking forward to. We ain't worried about what's coming because we are, we're begging for what's coming. What's coming is going to lead to what our salvation and our deliverance is going to lead to the kingdom of heaven and everlasting greatness for Israelites. Psalms 91 and 1, it says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
right? Imagine you're under this shadow of protection, this hedge of protection from the Lord, because why? You're in this truth, right? That's the secret place of the Most High. We're in this truth, and the world don't see it. It says, I will say of the Lord, I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence, right? Missiles, right? Um, gunfire, rockets, all type of destruction. He shall cover thee from, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night. Strength and knowledge and wisdom, wisdom is going to be your strength and stability in them days. Nor the arrow that flieth by day. Nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Right? But it shall not come nigh thee. Because why? We trust in the Lord. Right. We didn't trust in man. We didn't trust in ourselves. We didn't trust in weapons. We trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Psalms 118 and 6. And it reads, the Lord, is my, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man, I will not fear what can man do unto me. Yeah, we got an invasion of other nations. An invasions of nations that hate what Americans, right? When they come here, they're going to look at it as you blacks as an Americans, you Hispanics as an Americans. Right, they ain't gonna give a fuck, right? The play, man, we talking about the time of Jacob's trouble. So we're not worried about what man can do to us because we know man is only being controlled by what? The Lord. Man can't do things of his own will. It's the Lord who control what man do and it's the Lord who controls our paths and directs our steps and protects us, right? It says, um, he that, that seek in that shadow of the Lord, that truth, right? We, man, all we got is this truth. <laughs> All you got is this truth. You got the name of the Lord to call on. It says, he that calleth on the name of the Lord shall be saved, ye men of Israel, right? Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry, right? It is inevitable that America is going to be destroyed, right? And when you go into inevitable, because that's one of my favorite words used about what's coming. Certain to happen. Unavoidable. War was inevitable. Unavoidable. Unescapable. Bound to happen. Sure to happen. Right? These people, they thinking, man, they're going to escape the destruction. They're going to get in their bunk bunkers. They're going to get into their um, space shuttles and fleet. Get into their um, boats. I mean, these little, um, what they call that shit, um, that shit them, them crackers got crushed in the ocean, right? And go into the ocean and hide. No, you can't hide from the judgment of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? It is, it is inevitable. It is surely to come. It's inescapable. Right? It's bound to happen. It's sure to happen. Right? <laughs> it says, unpreventable, assured, certain, for sure. Right? These people thinking they can escape the judgment of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. 